Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's you from Happiness and Crafting. Now, before we get on to the Friday freebie for this week, I just wanted to give you a quick look at my new kit, which is the Mix Words and Phrases number three. Um, on this one, we've got 100 words and phrases, um, and the first page are some of the words I've done in different backgrounds on here, um, which are the words that I use quite a lot. Um, so I thought I'd give you a couple of different options. Um, so we've got love, hope, wish, dream, peace, imagine, memories and joy. So they're really, really lovely and they've got lovely, lovely backgrounds. So we've got the green, pink, blue. We've got a beautiful um, yellow rose. And this one is a lovely pink one. So they go, they're really, really lovely. And then we've got this one. So this one is got the background of the pink. Um, butterfly so look out because I, next week we're going to have the pink butterfly collection out because um, lots of you have asked about that so um, these would go lovely with it and then we've got these lovely blue ones and we've got the green now the green are the ones that I'm going to be using in conjunction with our Friday freebie today so this is why I wanted to show you these um, and then this page we've got the lovely uh, yellow roses and the pink roses and they've got some really, really lovely um, words and phrases on there. So I thought I'd give you a quick, quick look. So that's that one. And then we've got this one here. So a nice mixture of sizes as well. And then we've got this one because I'm going to be using the green ones today. So this is why I thought I'd just give you a quick peek. So that's in the shop at the moment. Um, I'll pop a link below. So to get on with our actual Friday freebie, um, here it is. Now I might need to just zoom out just a little bit. Oops, the wrong way. There we go. So this is what we have today. It's like a little collage sheet. So some of you who find it difficult to collage, I thought I'd give you a, a sheet like this and we can do it together. So it's a beautiful green colour. So it's like a vintage, a nice vintage set today. We've got a beautiful lady here. We've got a couple of numbers on there. Roses, of course, we've got some butterflies. We've got a clock, some little lace corners and a beautiful bird. So this is what we've got today and it's lovely. So this is the Friday Freebie 16. Now all of you that are on not on Facebook, um, this is out today as well on in my Etsy shop. The last four weeks, so you'll have five pages. So because um, last week was two pages. So we've got from 13 to 16 this week. Um, so you'll see that in the Etsy shop. Um, and if you are on Facebook, um, please go and join my group if you haven't already and you can purchase this Well, you don't have to purchase it. You can have this for free so you can download this one for free and once you've joined the group Okay, so there's a couple of options how to get it there. So I'm going to show you I've already cut it out um, So I'm going to just sh show you let me just zoom back in again Let's pop these bits here and I'll show you how what I've made. So let's go in a little bit closer There we go right so these are absolutely gorgeous i love this so this is the memories these are the little words and phrases which you don't get in the friday freebie these are from my new kit and i thought they i put them on there because they just go really really well um so the first one here i put everything on this one um so i've got the backing bit we've got the the lace bits we've got everything so it's just a beautiful collage and i thought it looked really lovely and I'll tell you what it looked nice with. Now this is the um, Happiness and Crafting little booklet that we, the fold that we did last week. And I think it looks beautiful on there. I think the roses go really well with a rose on here. And I think you could put that on there. So if you're making a nice big journal, that would look fantastic on the front of a journal. So I thought that would look really, really nice. And then this one, I've just taken the um, big green piece. Um, and I've made it into a little booklet. So that's just got some scrap paper in there. Um, and I've got some of the elements on there. Again, I've used one of the um, words and phrases on there. And um, we've got the butterflies. I popped a little pearl in there. And then the little clock poking out the top. So I'm loving this kit. And this one here, I've used one of the fans. Now, I did one in green, um, if you can remember back to doing the fans and I thought that looked brilliant on there I thought it just blended in really really well so this one was using um, just one kit 
just one of the pieces of paper and that was using the other one um, so I got two little um, things out of one piece so I thought they looked really really nice and it's a nice use of the fan I think they look really nice so that would look a, like a really nice topper on a card um, and you could have a birthday embellishment on there a, a word or something on there as well um, and then you've got the little booklet just to go into one of your little um, scrapbooks so I'm going to show you how I did some of these so I'm going to pop one together so I've got it all ready cut out for you and what I've done I've actually sewn around the edges already um, because I have sewn on here but again you don't have to this one I've sewn around because um, I just like it when it's been sewn around but again you don't have to sew so try not to think about when you're putting things together try not to think about it too much just pop things on um, as they go um, and I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to sew things that actually match now you can have everything in the middle so it's sort of almost symmetrical or you can just move things around so that's a little bit higher that can come down you've got the little um, lace bit so to cut them out I've just done a little bit of fussy cutting just around it um, just um, quick and easy so don't think about it too much when you're cutting it out because you can see that it's not perfect um, but I just love this lace I thought it was really really lovely so if we just put things so they just sort of like overlap it doesn't really matter where where they all go just pop them all in oops if I can pick it up and nice little we just inside outside look lovely little bird a couple of the little butterflies down here I love these numbers they're just sort of random numbers um, which we can have on there a couple of little butterflies and I've got this one which was the love and that was from the words and phrases and I thought that would just pop on there nicely so how easy is that now I've also got some little bits of fabric so we've got some bit of lace here some stretchy lace a little bit of um, the cheesecloth and some bits here and one of these I don't know what this goes I found this one this was some of my little seam binding flowers which I've had for ages and I thought that green goes really well so these would just you know blend in perfect right so I probably won't end up looking like that so what I'm going to do I'm just going to stick this down trusty old glue stick again so we'll pop a little bit of glue on the back like this okay and just stick that down so again I'm sure you guys will come up with some amazing stuff again you don't have to put everything all on one piece either um, oops wrong scissors let's use these so then just pop a little bit of cheesecloth on here and we pop this little lady down there so let's just stick this down like this just wrinkle it up a little bit Pop some glue on the back of here like that now when I do that I just sort of like stick it in the middle because these bits I want to sort of like pop in underneath like that now I think I was going to put this there underneath that looks quite nice like that doesn't it so maybe I will just lift that up and pop the clock now which way like that now what I'm actually going to do I'm just going to snip that bit off there because I've stuck it down too much don't worry about cutting them just cut them and stick them on so that just sort of like pokes out from that bit like that I'm going to stick this down a bit better I'm going to stick this one over the top like this so that can stick on there oops like that perfect now we 
can have lots of little bits of lace. I've got some little bits of lace here as well, which we can tuck in under here. Now I'm going to use my three in one for this. So I think it just sticks it down a little bit better. So this can just tuck in there, wrinkle that up just a little bit and stick it down like that. Does that look a little bit wonky? Never mind. Right, now I've forgotten where I was going to put everything now, but never mind. Up there. Let's put that up there. A bit of glue. Pop that in there like that. And then we can have this one down here. Like this. So you can make lots of tags with this set. Because um, again, you don't have to stick every element that I've given you on top of each other. So where should we have the bird? Let's have a look. Let's pop the numbers in. I'm going to use this because I don't want it to be f too flat. So I can just pop that on there like that. Whoops. Maybe I'll have the, the other number popping out the top there. A little bit of this in there. Just so it pops out. Oh, I can pop it under there. Just like that. And then I might actually pop a little bit of lace just under here, I think. So you can use up all your little odd bits and pieces as well, like we like to do. So that can just sit there so that pops out the top. Maybe a little bit more glue there. So if you just stick the middle bit down with a bit of um, glue stick then you can just pop things underneath the edges like that. So I think that looks really nice. So let's pop the little bird and some butterflies on it. Where should we have the little bird? I think it looks quite nice up there. Now let's pop some um, cheesecloth underneath. A little bit of cheesecloth on there. Not a bit of cheesecloth, a bit of glue, I mean. A bit of cheesecloth. Oops, there's the bird. Little bird just stuck on there. Like that. You could even have the other piece of the clock popping out there. But then again, I'm going to put that thing down there. Yes, I shall put that on there so we don't waste it. Pop it this side, I think. Oops. A little bit too much glue there. Pop that there, and then we can have couple of these lovely little butterflies. Let's just bend the wings. Maybe I'll pop this on first and then pop the butterflies on. So let's have a little bit of lace. Wrinkle it up. Pop a little bit of the cheesecloth. So let's build up a little bit of a, a background. Here, a bit of glue stick, a bit of cheesecloth like that, a little bit of lace. I'm using sticky old glue. Pop that on just so that we should be able to see it. sort of lifts it just a little bit like that which looks nice 
pop on some of the little butterflies oops oh, this one here let me get something just to hold it down like that and we can have this oopsie daisy this little butterfly can go this side can't it just one here perfect there we are so i think they look really really nice now what i did on the other ones i've got some of these little self-adhesive um, pearls on here so they're just tiny tiny little ones i'm just gonna pop oops the butterflies moving about let's pop you back down there pop a little pearl on top like that and the same on Make sure your glues dry a bit better for your butterflies. There we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Maybe we will have a couple of little pearls at the top just on here, just to sort of even it out a little bit. Put two there. I'll just put one up there. And there we go. Easy peasy. So doesn't that look pretty? Really, really lovely. And I think that would be perfect to go on a, in a, um, like a little vintage journal or something like that, or a topper to go on top. So there we go, that's that one. But I do love this one with a fan on it. You could make a fan with the background um, papers as well, um, so it would all match in lovely. So that's that one. That is the little booklet. So there's lots and lots of things you can make. Um, on there and then that's the other one so that's the two different ones and I think they look really really lovely okay guys well thank you so much for in, um, joining me um, I hope you like it as much as I do I absolutely love this one and the lady is absolutely gorgeous so please do give it a go pop over to the Facebook group please join the group if you, you haven't already um, and again you can I'm going to pop all the links down below so if you want the Friday freebie and you're not on Facebook, you can purchase it for a small, small cost to cover my Etsy's fees um, on Etsy. Um, you, can you can purchase the last four, so the last month's worth. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.